I ended up going to get my first tattoo, face tattoo, it says home at last to kind of commemorate him, just to kind of like, I guess like make him mad one more time, like if heaven exists and maybe he's gonna give me a wolf in again, you know what I mean? Hey MTV, it's Teddy Swims, and this is Under the Covers. Covering songs for a long time, I think it's very pivotal to do. I learned a lot from doing it, and it kind of also, I think, helped me guide what I was trying to be or to keep myself as open-ended as I possibly could be. If I had to name a couple songs that I think really affected my life in a, a way, I Can't Make You Love Me, I think it's still the most beautiful song in the world, and being able to cover that song did a lot for me. And obviously, Let Me Love You by Mario. How do you make a cover your own? I truly believe that your voice is, is your one piece of thing that's truly yours, and nobody can sound like you, and nobody is sounds like you. I think anybody that sings anything just puts their own signature on it. When I'm in the studio, my must-haves, I don't need too much. I think what's beautiful about writing music is that we could just stand here together with like just our voices and kind of just from thin air create something that never existed that now kind of becomes immortalized in a way on recording. I am gonna say that I drink tequila to write. It's not a must-have because that sounds problematic. It does help a lot to have it. I think it just kind of gets my self out of the way of my brain, you know, and I can just kind of yell freely and have a drink or a six, you know. Doing the covers, it, it really helped help me be very open-ended and hear one side of the spectrum to the other and, and utilize all those tools in that little toolbox to, to start creating and writing. And, and then having people now cover my songs, it's, I think, the most justifying thing. And the word is just justified, I feel. I was so terrified for a long time to get stuck in covers. You hear just amazing people singing the absolute hell out of your songs, and you're just like, God, that was a good song after all. And me and all my crew, we had this uh, thing that my theater teacher, Mr. Totten, taught us was we always do, we always like kind of everybody goes and, and does a pinky promise to each other that everything's gonna go okay. And we all have our own little things that we've added to it. And so now you have to memorize like 40 of those things and everybody has their own versions of it. It's really cool. And uh, you know, again, I'll say I like to drink tequila. It's really, really good. I think one of my favorite collaborations I've gotten the chance to do is working with Thomas Rhett was just one of the coolest things ever. And I got a chance also to write on his song, um, Angels Don't Always Have Wings. And that was like, for me, my first song that I ever got to like write and put out for an artist that wasn't me singing on. Working with Megan Trainor too is just like, I can't say enough about how incredible of a person that she is. My grandfather was a Pentecostal pastor, and so when I was growing up, you know, when I was first started getting tattoos, he had told me just don't get my face tattooed. And when he passed away, so I was with my grandmother, and my whole family was over at their house, and she looked up to this guy and said, like, you know, he's home at last, he's home at last. And then she said, but you left me behind, and, and started crying about it, and, and I held her in my arms, and um, I ended up going to get my first tattoo, face tattoo, it says home at last, to kind of commemorate him, just to kind of like, I guess like make him mad one more time, like if heaven exists and maybe he's gonna give me a wolf in again, you know what I mean? I love him so much, he's my hero, but you know, just just kind of like, I look, I waited till you died, man. I'm getting my face tattooed now. Stay grounded, you know, I'm my daddy's son, you know, and uh, he's taught me how to be a good person. I'm very fortunate that the guys I have in my band and all my crew are, are just, they're there for me and they, they worry about me and they keep you humble for sure, man. And, and it's great to have the kids that you grew up with being right by you and holding you down and have my back more than anything, so it's never too hard. They will ground you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later, MTV.